Hi everyone. By now you've probably heard dozens of lectures about the power of AI and how great it is, right? But in this presentation, I'll actually be spotlighting AI failures, where AI went wrong. And in addition to AI buzzword we all use, I will give you another great buzzword you can use in your marketing materials. We will get to that in just a minute. But let's start with where AI went wrong. Now, by definition, AI technology is not completely predictable. This means that out there in the real world, some of its applications do unexpected things. Even carefully constructed AI systems have been known to act in ways their developers never anticipated. Sometimes these results are funny, sometimes offensive, and sometimes actually dangerous. So here are just a few examples where AI went wrong. First, I'm going to give you an example from our industry, the digital accessibility industry. So we make websites accessible for people with disabilities and we develop an automated solution based on machine learning and AI technology that can make every website accessible. But also with our technology or any other accessibility te technology on the market, you cannot make the entire website accessible automatically without any manual intervention, even if you use AI. So let's take as an example the blind or visually impaired users who have difficulty seeing images. So for them we use uh, image recognition technology in order to insert alternative text to images that will describe what in the image that they cannot see. So we have uh, a financial client with this image on their site where the image description should be man passing a pen or something like that do you know what the Google AI image recognition technology for this image was? Whether do you think it's hilarious or not, Google decided that this image was a hand job. Funny, right? But not funny for the blind person and definitely not funny for the company that can get sued as a result. Another example where Google got it wrong was in 2015, where Google photos tags two African American as gorillas through their image recognition and this AI failure caused them a huge negative PR. Now much of AI technology works on image or text recognition and they are not always doing a good job. These errors could refer as AI bias which is the underlying prejudice in data that used to create AI algorithms which can ultimately result in a discrimination or other social consequences. And there already have been several incidents where AI bias did exactly that. One example was a racism embedded in US healthcare in October 2019, where researchers found that an algorithm used on more than 200 million people in US hospitals to predict which patients would likely need an extra medical care significantly favor white patients over black patients. Although race itself wasn't a variable used in this algorithm, another variable highly correlated to race was healthcare cost history. So the logic was that this healthcare cost summarizes how many healthcare needs a particular person has. And for a number of reasons, black patients incur the lower healthcare cost than white patients with the same conditions on average, which caused the algorithm to choose white patients over black patients. Another example is Amazon hiring algorithm. So Amazon hiring tool uses artificial intelligence to give job candidates scores ranging from one to five stars, much like shoppers rate. And they're literally one to an engine where you can throw 100 resumes and it will speed up top five and hire those. But in 2015, Amazon realized that their algorithm used to hire an employees was found to be biased against women completely unintentionally. So it turns out that the data to create the algorithm was biased, was based on number of resumes submitted over the past 10 years. And since most of the candidates were men, the system taught itself that male candidates were better and it favored men over women. Here is another embarrassing example from Amazon when a, a cute kid called Ask Alexa to play a song called Digger Digger. This is what happened. Alexa, play Digger Digger. Alexa, play Digger Digger. 
Bobby, can you talk to play wheels? You want to box? hear a station for porn detected? Porno ringtone, okay. hot chick, amateur girl, quiet, no, sexy. No, 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 no. Stop. Pussy oh. anal dildo ringtone. Alexa, girl. stop! <laughs> As you can see, AI can sometimes get it really wrong. Tragically, there are also some cases where it can even cause injury or death. In 2016, Uber conducted a test of their self-driving cars in San Francisco and their autom autonomous bicycle ran six red lights in the city during testing. Check this video. California says that Uber must stop testing its self-driving cars on streets. Uber started offering self-driving rides in San Francisco yesterday. Just hours later, state regulators told the company to knock it off. Dash cam video yesterday captured what appears to be a self-driving Uber blowing through a red light on a busy street. Now, Uber blames human error for that one. John Blackstone is in San Francisco with why Uber says its new program is not breaking any rules. So that was back in 2016. Some might say the written was on the wall because in 2018 came the first recorded case of a pedestrian fatality involving a self-driving car when an Uber bicycle operating in self-drive mode killed Elaine Harrisburg as she pushed her bicycle across the fourth lane road in Tempe, Arizona. So as you can see, in some cases, AI can be misleading, in other it could be terribly discriminatory and in the worst case scenario, it can even cause seriously physical injury or death. Now, artificial intelligence doesn't have to be a complete horror story, of course. Artificial intelligence does much more good than it does harm. AI is used to make our life better, to improve uh, automation, productivity, uh, decision-making, marketing, reducing cost and time, building smarter and safer cars, discover new drugs and medical treatments. There are countless ways where AI is improving our everyday life. But it's also clear that we should listen to the warnings of some of the world's brightest minds and treat carefully with AI or risk some scary consequences. Now, today AI seems to be a magical keyword that every company uses whenever possible. It got into a point that if you try to raise money and you don't have AI in your pitch deck, it feels like there's something missing. And unfortunately, the flip side exists as well. Companies that don't actually have any artificial intelligence in their technology will claim to be using it because they know it's a term that open doors and it's great for your marketing pitch. So if you're using AI, that's great. If you're not using it, that's fine too. But let me suggest another great term you can use in your marketing approach. Social impact. So in 2018, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink sent a message, message to businesses leaders that their companies need to do more than just to make profits. They need to contribute to society as well if they want to receive BlackRock support. Now we are talking about BlackRock, right? These firms manage more than $7 trillion in investments, making it the largest investor in the world. So here is what Larry wrote. Society is demanding that companies, both public and private, serve as a social purpose. To prosper over time, every company must not only deliver financial performance, but also show how it makes a positive contribution to society. Essentially, he was saying, contribute to society or risk losing our support. So let me help you make a great social impact step. Make your digital assets accessible to people with disabilities. This will send a clear message that you care and it represents a truly positive contribution to society. And the internet is by far the most popular source of information today and Every member of society, including people with disabilities, deserve the same access to this information as anyone else. So please open your websites to everyone. It is very easy. Please, you can visit us at equalweb.com. And thank you for listening.